Yo, what's good, y'all? It's your boy Charles. I'm back with a video. I know it's been a long minute, y'all, but you know, God had me doing some things in my life, and here I am, y'all. I'm back to give y'all a video on the sin known as lust, guys. I know a lot of us deal with it, and I'm here to use my testimonial. Um, you know, I'm here to minister to you guys a little bit, you know. Um, well, I call myself a Bible scholar. No, I am not a Bible scholar, but you know, the Lord put this in my heart to do. So I'm gonna do this video, guys. And before we start, y'all, I just wanna say a quick prayer. Um, you know, I, I brought the, the, the Bible out today, guys. We're gonna read a little bit of scripture. And like I said, I'm gonna share a story with you guys that maybe only one person, one of my closest friends know. And you know, God put this in my heart to talk about. And I just hope that, you know, you guys can 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 use you know this lesson from one of my mistakes on on how far lust can actually take you and why it is so important that you really truly learn how to control your lust guys lust is nothing to play with but before we start let's get into a prayer so if you guys will just bow your heads and i'm just gonna pray for us real quick all right father god we come before you as your viewers we, we come before you as your humble servants and I come before you as your humble servant, Charles, and I'm here with the viewers of this video, Lord. And I just want to thank you for this beautiful day, Father, for just allowing us to gather under your holy name. And just, just giving us the, the grace to be here, Father God. Um, Father God, I pray that this video goes over well, Father God. I pray that the Holy Spirit flows through me and gives me the words to say for my brothers and sisters out there that are struggling with lust, Father God. And um, I pray that my brothers and sisters don't look at this video and, 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 and please don't look up to me. Uh, seek God, seek God's understanding for yourself and allow him to work in your heart and in your life so that, you know, he can deliver you and that he can use you as he using me right now to be a blessing onto someone else. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, amen. All right, y'all, so... You know, I brought out the Bible because, you know, this is very serious to me and lust is not nothing to play with, you know. Um, society glorifies, you know, sexualizing, sexualizing everything, you know. You go on the gram, you got booty everywhere. The ladies go on the gram, guys got the shirt off and all that stuff like that. And I know for some of us, we look at that and be like, oh, it's not a big deal. I didn't do nothing or I didn't have sex with nobody, whatever the case may be. But what you guys don't know is that lust seeps in through the eyes and it seeps in very slowly you know what i'm saying um i want to do a video on like just lust through the eyes and i'm gonna use biblical scripture but today we're just gonna talk about lust as a whole i'm gonna you know use a couple verses that i found appropriate or that god has put into my heart i should say appropriate for this video and then i'm gonna give you guys a story you know this is before i found god and you know i'm going to give you guys a story on how far lust actually took me and i'm just going to give you guys a spoiler it did not turn out well all right i laugh about it you guys probably gonna laugh too i laugh now because this was this was one of those things where you should have learned your lesson charles but i did not learn from this so we're gonna start off you know i got some notes in the bible so we're gonna start off check the notes real quick all right, so if you guys would, we're going to turn to the book of Matthew, chapter 5. And I'm going to read, or should I say we're going to read, because we're going to read this together. Hopefully you guys read it with me. We're going to read verses 27 through 30. So let me just get to Matthew real quick. Chapter 5, 27 through 30. All right? And it says, Ye have heard that it was said by them of old times, Thou should not commit adultery, right? So I'm just gonna stop right there, right? This is just verse 27, right? I like to really like break down each verse, guys. Um, so just bear with me. Um, I feel like, you know, it's easier to digest things in small portions than try to take everything in at once, right? So the reason why this is so important, right? Because Jesus, you know, I'm just gonna show you guys this, the text in red. This is Jesus talking, right? The reason why it's so important to, to understand the times of old is because the things of the old have been repeating themselves throughout time 
and Christ is once again warning us about the things that the people did beforehand and how they are coming back into what is going on now in this world. So he's warning us, you know, it was said in times of old, thou should not commit adultery. As we know, adultery has been going on for a long time, right? So let's get back into it. But I say unto you that whosoever looketh on a woman to lust after her, hath already committed adultery with her already in his heart stop right there right so like i was saying at the beginning of the video guys a lot of the time not even a lot of time all the time lust begins with the eyes you don't just look at somebody and y'all end up in the bedroom something like that once you let the lust come into your eyes you start to kind of fixate and fantasize about that person but if you have never ever ever seen that person before Chances are that would never ever happen. So I want you guys to be very, very mindful of the things you look at, how you look at them, and how long you look at them. You know, myself included. I, I do this thing, guys. When I'm walking around, you know, I see a woman. I notice that if I'm looking for more than like two seconds, chances are I'm lusting. So obviously I'm walking. I got to see things. If I see it, saw it going about my day because chances are right right before you lay down before you go to bed man what did i do today guess what's gonna pop up the way that chick look and next thing you know you done did something you weren't supposed to do and you're looking at yourself like dang to think all it took was for me looking at a chick for two seconds that's all it takes for two seconds and now you're lusting over her you probably done you know masturbated or something like that whatever and I'm going to be real with you guys. I'm going to use the terminology some people are not comfortable with. But look, the gospel keep it real, right? The book ain't cut no corners. They talked about everything in here. You know, a lot of people only, you know, only talk about the good things. Well, you know, we know in the Bible things get real. So I'm going to use some terminology that some people may not be comfortable with. But guys, we got to face it. It's the truth. People do these things. We do these things. So nothing to be ashamed about. If you're ashamed about it, that means the enemy trying to use it to shame you so that you can keep it inside and don't share it with the other brothers and sisters and the saints out here. But God don't want you to do that. He wants you to share it so that you can help others get out of it. So that's exactly why I'm here today, right? So let's get to 29. It says, if thy right eye offend thee, pluck it out and cast it from thee, for it is profit profitable for thee that one of thy members should perish and not that thy whole body should be cast into hell. And if thy right hand offend thee, cut it off and cast it from thee, for it is profitable for thee that one of thy members should perish and not that thy whole body should be cast into hell, right? So what Christ is basically saying is don't let one thing, I'm just going to simplify it for the sake of the video. Don't let one thing be the reason that you have been cast into hell, right? So we can look at it like this, like as like a friend, right? So let's say you're trying to stop lust, but you got a friend that keeps sending you twerk videos on Instagram. Guess what you might have to do? You might have to, your friend is that eye that had to be plucked out. Because if you continue to, 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 to accept these things, the visualization, the sexuality, it's you that's going to end up in hell. And if you're a believer, right, you know that you must follow the things that Christ saying. You know it. So even if your friend is not a believer, you know. So you have to do what you got to do, right? So the next verse I'm going to go into, go back into the notes because it's real out here. We're going to go to 1 Thessalonians uh I'm going to 1 Thessalonians. Hold on, guys. Let me see something. My bad. It's 1 Thessalonians. I think it's chapter 4. I think it's chapter 4, verse 4 through 5, y'all. Give me one second, y'all. 1 Thessalonians. Chapter 4, verse 4 through 5. One second, y'all. Bear with your boy, y'all. Bear with your boy, y'all. Uh, 
All right, perfect. Yes. So, turn to First Thessalonians chapter four, verse four through five, guys. All right. And this verse right here, these two verses four and five. This is pretty much going to be the premise of the story, guys. I say that I laugh and I say it with a smile because when you guys hear the story, you're going to be like, bro, for real? Yes, for real. All right. It says that every one of you should know how to possess your vest, his vessel in sanctification and honor, not in the lust of concupiscence, even at the Gentiles, which know not God. Right. So the Bible speaks about Gentiles, basically meaning those that, as it says, know not God. Here we are in Thessalonians. We are being told to honor our bodies, right? Don't, don't, don't get caught up in concupiscence, which is like extreme lust, right? Don't get caught up in that as the Gentiles, which know not God. Now we have our friends and our families and even some of our believers that are not following these things, guys. And, you know, unfortunately we know where that's gonna lead to. If you're gonna if you're gonna follow the Lord Jesus Christ, there's no gray areas, you know. Now, of course, we 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 may fall short of the glory, but we have to genuinely try. Don't say, oh yeah, I believe in God, and you out there twerking on Saturday nights, and you with the shorties, and you posting on the gram. That's blasphemous. You blaspheming the Lord, right? Try, you know. If if you if you say, you know what, I'm not gonna party no more, and you catch yourself partying and you repent, at least you can say you truly tried. You know what I'm saying? It's one thing to be like, oh, I'm going to do it and like, don't, don't have no resistance. Try, guys. Try. Do your best. Give it to God. Repent. God, look, I know I messed up this time. I repent and, 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 and really mean it. And just keep, keep trying, guys. Do not give up. The Lord has not given up on you. Do not give up on the Lord. It's not easy. You know, I'm making this video to tell you guys I still struggle with my lust too. I'm not blind. You know what I'm saying? But what I do is I do my best to fight. I do my best to fight. I use scriptures in the moment. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When I, if I see something, I use scriptures, I rebuke it, and I and, and I fight, guys. This is a fight, you know. The Bible says you should not fit him for the Lord your God is fighting for you. God is fighting for us, but we gotta fight, all right? Um, so I'm gonna do one more verse and then I'm gonna get into the story, guys. Um let's turn to Second Timothy chapter two, verse twenty-two. Alright. So second Timothy chapter 2 verse 22 right what one second guys second timothy chapter 2 all right second timothy chapter 2 second timothy chapter 2 verse 22 all right it says Flee also youthful lust. Guys, there's something about lust in itself that is a bit immature when you really think about it, right? The idea of, of because let's be honest, a lot of us lust through the ego. Some of us want to prove that we the man. Some of us want to prove that we that woman. Some of us want to prove that we still got it and all these things like that. And that's ego. That's vanity. That means nothing in the kingdom, guys. That means absolutely nothing nothing in the kingdom of god guys so we gotta flee that youthful lust we gotta flee stop trying to be like the homeboy to stop trying to be like the homegirls oh i'm gonna get this shorty just because or i'm gonna i'm gonna get this guy just because i'm gonna take his girl i'm gonna take her man enough enough of that guys god is holding us to a higher standard guys we gotta do better it is what it is there's no getting mad it is what it is if, if you say you believe in Christ like you say you believe in Christ and Christ is holding you to a higher standard, well, you better fight. You better at least try. Don't say it and don't do it. All right? It says, but follow righteousness, right? Do what's right in the kingdom, right? Follow your faith, right? Have faith, guys. We are blessed from faith to faith, guys. We are given grace from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, right? Believe in him. He is bigger than us. Do not be led by your own understandings as it says in the word. Believe in your faith in God. Believe in your faith in our Lord and Savior. Let him lead you, guys, all right? Don't get caught up in the world. That's a quick way to lead yourself to doom, right? The Bible says, right? We all know the scriptures, right? It says, be sober-minded and vigilant because your adversary, the devil, lurks like a proud lion seeking who may devour, guys. All right, very simple, <laughs> very simple, right? It says, 
but follow faith, but follow righteousness, faith, charity. And in the Bible, charity can also be translated into love. So charity could be love, follow love, peace with them that call on the Lord of pure, or that call on the Lord of a pure heart, guys. Listen, guys, it's very important, right? I myself, I'm making this video, but I am not excluded from this. If I'm gonna say I'm gonna follow the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, I have to do these things too. Guys, it's very important that you surround yourself that with, with people that seek the Lord, guys. This is, oh my goodness, I cannot stress this enough, guys. Seek those that also seek the Lord out of a pure heart. There are people that we know that, you know, they may be in the world, they may be about their life, and then we know there's those that are, they going hard for the Lord, you know what I'm saying? You gotta surround yourself with those people, guys. I'm, I'm so serious. There are times in our life, yeah, we, we can't avoid those people that are in the world. We can't avoid it. It's cool. It is what it is. But you got to go and get around those people that are in the world, guys. You have to, guys. This is very important. It's like almost recharging, right? You get into the world. The world wears you down. First of all, you give it. You First of all, first of all don't idolize those people because we all for sure the glory. Or we may all for sure the glory. I don't even say we all for sure the glory. Because there are some of us that are really holding strong in our faith. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, give it to God, first of all, pray about it, repent, and then get it and ask the Lord to bring those people around you that, that, that like the Bible says, that call on the Lord out of pure heart, guys. Because it's like a recharging of the spirit. It's like a recharging of the spirit, right? Like you get around the people and it's like you just, you just feel the Lord's presence, right? So you got to surround yourself with those people, guys. So those are just the verses I want to use to kind of start this video off. Now it's story time, guys. So guys, I'm gonna tell you about a story about myself. Um, this this had to be like maybe 2017, 2018. Um, you know, this is before I found Christ, far, far, far before I found Christ. And I was very much so in the world, guys. I was out here chasing the shorties and all that stuff like that. And you know, and I'm and I'm one of those guys that I, I go after like the prettiest girl I, I if, if you know. If you're, the t if you're the top of the class, if you're the best looking girl in the class, I'm coming for you, period. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I say that to say, as I segue into the story, right, that's the type of chick that I used to go to. I like very pretty women, you know what I'm saying? Women that I find attractive. I don't, I don't just go up to girls because they're attractive to everyone else. I have to find them attractive, right? So, remember I was on Facebook and some random chick hit me up and very attractive, right? So, I'm gassed, I'm hyped. I'm like, oh, wow, she looking good. Slide in my DM, hey, I saw you, blah, blah, blah. So, I'm in my ego, like I told you guys about before. I'm in my ego, showing my boy, yo, look at this little, this little joint right here, bro. Yeah, she looking good, blah, 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 blah. Whatever, right? We chopping it up. First thing I do, I go straight for the kill. Yo, send me some flicks, right? So, you know, we're exchanging sexual photos, whatever. But something always felt kind of off about the exchange, right? Something always felt kind of off. Like, it felt as if the pictures that this person was sending me was like basics, like something you could find somewhere else. And then sometimes, like, the face and the body that they were sending me, it didn't always look the same, you know what I'm saying? But I was so caught in my lust and I was so hyped and I was so thirsty. That I was just like, yo, you know what? This shorty sending me the flakes, boom, boom, boom. We gonna link up. I'm gonna make something happen. All that, all that foolishness, right? So, I noticed that I got on the phone with the chick one time, right? And we talking, and I'm like, yo, okay, all right, cool, all right, you know, all right, we flirting and whatnot, or whatever. And I'm like, yo, like you living, you know, you live where I live at. Like when you free to link up, let's let's get it shaking. You know what I'm saying? And they're like, oh, word, well, I'm this, this, and that, and we can make this happen. But, and I'm going to be very vulgar with you guys. It's something about what she was asking me that she wanted that was kind of a red flag. But once again, I was so deep in my lust that I was ignoring it. They wanted, they just kept asking to see certain parts of my body that's just not that, uh, I guess, uh, interesting per se, right? And I'm like, yeah, like when I see you, I'm gonna do this and all, all this stupidness. Like I laugh because I'm like, yo, 
I was caught up in my lust, right? So a while goes by, we're not chatting like we used to, but I would notice that like, I would notice that like, the chick will pop up out of nowhere. It would be like, I'll be doing something. And this is another thing, guys. This is how the enemy will use your lust, your vices, whatever it is against you. You'll be doing what you're supposed to be doing, and then boom, something will come out of nowhere and distract you, right? So I, I, I think, I, I don't know what I'm doing. Maybe like working out at the gym or something like that, and I'll hear, get a message, boom. Yo, send me something, poppy, or something like that, whatever, right? And I'm like, I'm at the gym. Oh, well, I need to see blah, 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 and all that. So I'm like, all right, cool. You know, I'm, I'm thinking to myself, ego is just like, I got this shorty on my line, she on my body, you know what I'm saying? I'm chilling, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, I'm gonna make something happen, right? But something said, and you know, this is how you know God is with you even when you're not in the word, right? This is how God is with you, right? Because God is always with us. Let's not forget that, like, God is always with us, but he wants us to serve him, right? So something goes, hmm. I don't want to say something. The Holy Spirit, right? Well, I'll, I'll just say God for now, right? Something, I'm like, something don't seem right about this, right? So I hit up one of my homeboys, and let's just say my homeboy is, uh, if I need him to find out some information, he'll find it out, right? So I said, yo, bro, I've been messaging this girl. This is the number. You know, do your stuff with her, right? He finds the email that is attached to this number. Guys, I think the name was like Daniel something something at Gmail. That's right, guys. The whole time, I'm thinking I'm talking to a nice looking shorty. And it is in fact not a shorty at all, guys. Not a shorty at all, guys. It happened to be a guy, right? And so I hit the chick up and I'm like, yo, by any chance, are you blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah? If I'm not mistaken, I think that was the last time I ever heard from that person again, guys. So I know y'all like, yo, bro, like, and I, this is a true story, guys. This is why it's so important to control your lust, because you do not know where it's going to lead you. And because you're so thirsty, so thirsty, you're willing to destroy your flesh for pleasures that are not even going to mean nothing later on in life, right? So, um... Like I said, I sent the message, didn't hear from this person again. Now, God, I'm going to be very vulnerable with you, God. I'm going to be very real. As a man, and it's something that men don't talk about a lot. That was the first time in my life I ever felt, probably the first and last, to be honest, that I ever felt, like, violated. I felt helpless, guys. Like, I'm like, yo, there's somebody out there that got all these pictures and videos of me that I didn't, that I didn't authorize and assist because of their true identity. And it's out there, whatever. And then I said, you know what? It is what it is. I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna allow it to be held over my head. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is, guys. But that was the first time. And I'm being very vulnerable, with you guys. I felt helpless, guys. I felt violated. I felt like I was used. I felt like a piece of meat. All that stuff. And for men, you might be like, oh man, well, listen. You guys may hear women say things like, oh, I felt violated. I felt like a piece of meat. Men can be use like that too and this is the first time as a man i could truly understand what like women say these things they be like oh i feel like a piece of me i felt violated i felt used and stuff like that so i want you guys to know that it's real that can happen to you too you know what i'm saying so don't think when women tell you things that they just saying it or, or they just trying to get empty or sympathy or whatever the case may be like that that is a true feeling guys and it's not a good feeling guys because you it's almost like you feel like you made a fool out of yourself because you were so thirsty you know what I'm saying? So, you know, um, that's the story, guys. Just be mindful of your flesh. Like, honor God. Don't be out there doing things you shouldn't be doing. Because if you chance off you're doing it and you know you shouldn't be doing it, then that means you shouldn't be doing it. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, honor, you know, honor your body, guys. Honor your body for the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, guys. Um, don't be out there making a fool out of yourself. Um, and don't be controlled by your lust, guys. You gotta fight this stuff, guys. You gotta fight gotta fight gotta fight and for me what's been helping me fight my lust a lot lately is i know that you know because where i'm at with my walk with god now you know i want a wife i want to have children i want to honor god you know what i'm saying and i know that 
if I do not fight my lust, I'm gonna bring it into my relationship, I'm gonna bring it into my marriage, and, and I'm gonna continue this curse of lust on my family, guys, and I do not want that, guys. So what's been keeping me on the track lately is I know for a fact, if I want to get to the next level in my walk with Christ, I have to conquer lust, period. That's it. So whenever I'm lustful, or I'm thinking about, you know, uh, doing things I used to do in my past, I tell myself, if I do this, I'm not gonna get to the next level. And just instantly, like I just snap out of it, guys. So I don't know if that's gonna work for everybody, but I'm just giving you guys, you know, you know, uh, that because that's what works for me i know that god has something bigger for me but in order for me to get to that next step i have to put away those old things there's another verse in the bible that says when i was a child i did childish things but when i but when i matured i'm just paraphrasing the best i can when i mature i put away those childish things like it says guys flee youthful lust lust is very immature guys you gotta fight guys this is a fight all right we're in a battle all right Real talk, we are in the battle, guys. So with that being said, guys, I just want to thank y'all for the time. Um, you know, there will be more videos to come. Um, and I just want to glorify the Lord, guys. We're going to get to workout stuff, I know. But this is more important, guys, to honor your, honor your body in the name of Jesus Christ. So I'm just going to, I'm going to end this video off with a prayer, guys. So, you know, uh, bow your heads, of course. And we're just going to pray to close out the video, guys. So let's bow our heads. Um, Father God, Father God, we want to thank you for just, you know, allowing us to be in your presence once again, Father God. We want to glorify your name, Father God. We want to praise your name, Hosanna in the highest, God. Thank you for this, this, this opportunity, God. Thank you for, um, using me, Father God. Use me as a, a vessel of light, Father God, to reach those that may be struggling with the things that, um, you know, that I struggle with, that I still fight to this day, Father God. And I just want to praise your name, Father God. And, um, you know, I just want to bow my head even lower, God, because I'm so thankful for just being here, Lord. I'm so thankful that, um, you know, uh, you saw something in me, God, and just just, just, just wanted to use me for this, God. And then, if I could be honest, Lord, um, I never would have thought I'd be in a position like this, God, knowing where I was at, especially when it came to lust, Lord, you know, dealing with, you know, pornography and, and strange women, as it talks about in the book of Proverbs, God. I never thought I would be in front of a camera telling other people about such a story that I held very close to my heart, Lord. So I just want to thank you for using me, God, and just um, continue to use me. And I pray that this video touch at least one person that they defeat the, the lust of this world, Father God. And, you know, and for those that are not saved and for those that still struggle, I, I pray you find this video and I pray that it touches your heart. And I pray that you give yourself to the Lord Jesus Christ for he is the way, the truth, and the life. And we, we will not get to the Father except through the Son. In your name we pray, in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen.